In this video, I'm going to talk about the seven vital vitamins and minerals that people with ADHD should take. Throughout the years having ADHD, these are definitely the types of vitamins and minerals that I have found beneficial for myself, but also through doing extensive testing with all my ADHD patients, I see this time and time again of these different things that are very deficient with people with ADHD, but also what the research shows. So with the very first one is we're going to talk about the vitamins. So the first vitamin that I find that is common to be deficient with people with ADHD is vitamin C. Now vitamin C is very important for modulating neurotransmitters such as dopamine at the synapses in the brain. There was a study in 2006 where they had children taking vitamin C and they found that there was some improvements with ADHD symptoms such as hyperactivity and inattentiveness when the kids actually took vitamin C versus the controlled group. Now the second vitamin is vitamin B6. Now vitamin B6 is critical for the production of neurotransmitters such as serotonin, dopamine and norepinephrine. Now both dopamine and norepinephrine are very common with people with ADHD to be deficient. Also even serotonin. When serotonin is low, usually people with ADHD will have depression if their serotonin levels are low. So what vitamin B6 does, not only does it help build those neurotransmitters, but vitamin B6 also helps absorb iron better throughout the body. And we'll talk about that more later. But there was an interesting study where they took a group of kids between five and 18 and saw that there was a significant difference in deficiencies with people with ADHD versus kids that did not have ADHD. And so definitely something like B6 you could see is that it's more common to see a deficiency with people with ADHD versus someone who does not have ADHD. Now, the third vitamin is vitamin B12. Now, vitamin B12 is essential for a DNA synthesis as well as helping with energy production. It also helps with iron function properly. Like I said, I'll talk about that later, but vitamin B12 has been definitely shown significantly decreased and deficient in people with ADHD. And there was a study of 131 kids that there was a deficiency with kids with ADHD versus the controlled group. And so when you do supplement something like vitamin B12, especially the activated form of vitamin B12, which is methylcobalamin, especially if you have the MTHFR mutation gene, which is also very common with people with ADHD and autism. And so when you use that, they have seen big improvements by adding that type of vitamin, the activated form of B vitamin 12. Not only that, I have definitely have seen this with my patients and clients when we use the activated form of B12 of methylcobalamin, I do see a big difference when we do supplement that. The fourth vitamin is folate, also known as vitamin B9. And this is a very essential type of vitamin that is not only is it essential part for the synthesis and production of amino acids, but it also is important whenever you're taking vitamin B12 is that you take folate with it because it also helps with the process with iron. And research has shown that there is a significant difference with people with ADHD that has a deficiency versus people in the control group where folate tends to be more deficient in people with ADHD. Now, if you like what I've been talking about so far and you have ADHD and you're trying to like, okay, what's all the stuff I'm talking about? Trying to keep track of everything. Well, I have a free guide in the description below that talks about all the different types of vitamin, minerals, nutrients, and supplements and labs that you should be running for ADHD. So you can download that in the description below. So that way you do not miss anything that I'm talking about here today. Now, moving on to the second category is the minerals. Now I have been talking about iron. So that is the fifth important type of supplement, but it's a mineral. So iron has been shown that in research that people with ADHD tend to be more anemic, tend to have low levels of iron and ferritin. In fact, there was a research study that they took 630 kids from the ages of five to 18, and they saw that the kids with ADHD had a statistical significance of deficiencies in iron and ferritin levels. And when they supplemented for iron or, you know, helping improving levels of ferritin, they did see improvements in their ADHD symptoms, especially the ones that were deficient in these types of categories. Now, I remember my very first patient with ADHD had low levels of iron and ferritin and when we address that it made a big difference like it was a night and day so if you've never tested this before you certainly should be checking it now not everybody with HD does have low levels of iron but it's something to maybe look at and again that is in the description below of the guide of what labs you should be running for ADHD. Now the sixth supplement or you know the second mineral that I think that is really important to start implementing is magnesium. Now magnesium is very important as far as when it comes to all the different neurotransmitters to help with the production and the process of building neurotransmitters such as dopamine, norepinephrine and also serotonin but also magnesium has been shown in research that is significantly also deficient with people with ADHD. In fact up to 73% more significant that they found in research that people with with ADHD have a 
73% chance higher of having a deficiency in magnesium versus the average person. So there's probably reasons why you've heard how magnesium is an important thing to supplement for ADHD because of the research has shown this, but I've also made sure that every one of my patients are taking some kind of shape or form of magnesium because how vital it is to helping with the process of neurotransmitters, but also how prevalent it is for people with ADHD to be deficient in it. And the seventh type of vitamin and mineral that's important for ADHD is zinc. Zinc is something that is very important for the neurogenesis of DNA, but also is really important for the process and the production of neurotransmitters such as dopamine, serotonin, and norepinephrine. But there's also been a research that has shown that when they tested people who had ADHD and also people who did not have ADHD, they found that 70% of people with ADHD tend to have deficiencies in zinc versus the group that did not have ADHD, which is a huge significant difference. So just looking at magnesium and zinc alone, those two are definitely things that are very deficient. And I see all the time with my patients that tend to be deficient in this area. And by supplementing that, that you could start seeing big differences because of the importance of how it does build different neurotransmitters, but also for neurogenesis. But there's also additional other supplements that you could be using that can really benefit your ADHD brain, such as neurotropics. So watch this video right here where I go over my favorite types of neurotropics that I use for ADHD. So watch this video right now.